to click on the bell. Once the bell is clicked, you will get all notifications. Thank you. Hello everyone, please welcome and join Easy Steps Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you quick and easy Palak Paneer. It's very tasty and very delicious. Without wasting any time, let's start with the ingredients. I have a spinach which is the Palak and it's a fresh spinach leaves and these are pre-washed. It's a 40 ounce, 2.5 pound, 113 kg. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to open the bag and I'm going to put it into the pressure cooker. Other ingredients I'm going to use. One cup paneer, one onion, it's a red onion, you can use any color. I have a two green chili, one tablespoon ginger. I'm going to use a wheat flour, one tablespoon. Salt, one teaspoon to taste. Grinder powder, cumin powder, garam masala, one teaspoon each. For our tadka, I'm going to use one tablespoon olive oil. And we're going to use one cup of water. I'll open my pressure cooker and I'll bring all the spinach in there. I'm going to take it out of the bag and I'm going to put it in. Only thing we need to do, we need to press it down. We really don't need to cut it. We almost put it inside the three quarter of the bag. This much is left. Put my pressure cooker on gas. Once it's gonna shrink, then we'll add more. As you've seen, it's already 75% inside the pressure cooker. And I'm going to start my gas. And what we're going to do, only thing we're going to add this moment, salt. So once I put it the salt in, then one cup of water. As the pressure cooker heats up, the pollock, the spinach, going to shrink. And it's going to go down. And as it goes down, we're going to press it, then we're going to keep adding more and more until I finish all the bag. Once it's heated up, it's not going to take that long. Then we're going to put the cover on and we're going to wait for two whistles before we turn off the gas. It's exactly one minute. I was just putting inside and pressing it down. And this is the last one. We have 2.5 pound is all gone into our pressure cooker. I'm going to leave the gas high. I'm going to put the lid on and cover it. And now we're going to cook it until we hear the two whistles. It's exactly 10 minutes. We have our second whistle. What I'm going to do, I'll bring my pressure cooker on the back burner. And I'll bring another part and we'll start our cook process. So once our pressure cooker is going to cool down, the red switch at the bottom, when I go down, I will know that it's cooled down. Keep it on high gas. As the pan heats up, I'm going to bring number two gas, which is a low medium. And I'll bring the flour. We're going to cook our flour on a low flame. You don't want it cook it on a high flame, then it will burn right away. The good indication, as you can see, that uh, it started to smoke out. And also, in the air, you can get the smell. I'm going to bring it back into my pot. You can use another pan or you can use the same pan. So I'm going to bring the gas high and I'll bring olive oil. One tablespoon. First I'm going to do fry my paneer. And the paneer itself uh, you can keep it as is. And I'm going to use a half teaspoon deggi milk. That I wanted to share with you. That's a strictly optional. You don't have to do it. But it will give us a nice uh, color to our paneer. And we're going to fry on high gas. So we're going to keep turning. So within uh, like a minute or so, I'm going to just uh, take the paneer out. You can keep it as white color, but this is what I wanted to do. So I'll take it out. The button just went down. That means the pressure cooker is ready to open. On other side, took out all the paneer. I'm going to bring ginger into the same pot. And now at the same time, I'm going to bring onion. And we're going to saute our onion until they get translucent. So while we are cooking our turka, I'm going to open up uh, my pressure cooker. Wow. Look at this. 
the spinach, the pollock, this is what it looks like it. Two and a half pound pollock, only this much left. You can do two things. Once it's cooled down fully, you can take it to the blender, then you can mash it. Or if you have a hand blender like this, then you just put it inside. I'm going to start it. I'm going to mash it. While I'm concentrating on mashing, I'm going to bring my gas to medium so my tarka won't get burned. I'm going to stir it. Our tarka is doing well. And this is also important when you're using a hand blender, don't keep it inside too long, then it can get burned. But if you have a metal or stainless steel, then you have no problem. Add our cooked flour inside. And now we're going to mix it again. And I'm going to tilt it and I'm going to show you how it looks. This is how it looks. We all done? I'm going to bring the green chili and I'm going to turn my gas high and I'm going to mix it. Our masala is, turka is almost cooked. Our onions are nicely brown and I'm going to bring the spices, the grinder powder, garam masala, cumin powder and mix it well. After mixing it well, and I'm going to bring gas to bring the sog into our tarka. So I'm going to transport our sog. This is what is really important that you bring your gas to low. So after mixing our pollock, the spinach for like two minutes with our tarka, and I'm going to bring the paneer, and we're going to mix it well. After mixing it well, I'm going to put the lid on and we're going to cook it on medium flame for five minutes. Another five minutes with the closed lid on medium gas. I'm going to turn off the gas, our pollock, paneer. Look at this, it's so delicious. I'm going to mix it. And I'm going to bring my serving bowl. I will dish out. This is very tasty and very delicious and very nutritious. As always people say, the spinach has a lot of iron in it. I'm going to share with you. It's so tasty and so delicious. You always can serve with the roti, chapati, fulka, naan and prantha. And I'm going to taste it. Earlier I made a dal. And if you like a dal, it's a sabat masar, it's a lantern. Please click my other link. How do I make it? Tasty and delicious. As for palak and paneer, I'm going to taste it. Our palak paneer is very delicious and it's very nutritious. Please try it. And I'm going to taste it. I love palak paneer. Mm. Very tasty. It's a super delicious. I'm sure you're going to like it. Please try it. And like always, please like, share, and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and bye bye.